well, how Job grew and what he understood afterwards that he didn't understand before. Well, that's we're talk, kind of talking about Dharma. Okay. okay so, talk, so karma. And, and dharma is a Hindu word? Dharma is a Hindu word, whereas karma means action. What you put out is what you get back, more or less. With, okay. with taking action. Dharma is your duty, is, is what you are drawn to do, is what your purpose in life is, more or less. It's, a, it's okay. not an exact description. So a lot of times... But it kind of translates as purpose. A purpose, purpose, duty, something like, you know, what your dharma is. You have your ministry. That's your dharma. Another person might be to be a, a, a guy who cooks pizzas. That's his, that's his dharma. And, you know, sometimes, you know, cooking a pizza or a hamburger is a very spiritual thing, just as spiritual as ministering. Depending to on how you practice it, it could be. And if it's prepared properly. But, um, but in, in English, it, it brings in perhaps unhelpful connotations if we say duty or obligation, or obligation. guilt, and, and heaviness, and that you are responsible for other people. Yeah. Dharma really is, I would say, what your passion is, what you were born to do, what your raison d'etre is. So, you know, that, that's the way I see it. So, if you're your following purpose. Your, your purpose, so if you're following your Dharma, and everybody's is different, mm -hmm. and so, most people don't know theirs. Exactly. Somebody on the outside might say, well, why are, you, you know, why are you doing this? Like when I left college, I quit college at 19 because I wanted to study metaphysics. So I quit. Mm -hmm. I had a, a, you know, I was, and everyone said, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You know, and they thought I was crazy. But in the end, like it worked out because mm -hmm. I, I always lived a charmed existence and things worked out. But I knew that that was my path. Other people thought I was nuts. They thought I should get married and get a stable job. But that would have been the opposite of what I want at that point. That would have been the death of, of who Which I am. Which means, if you had done it, you might have had the house, the car, the family, but you wouldn't have been happy. You know, it's old saying, you know, it, what, you know, what does a prophet man if he gains the whole world and loses its own soul? Mm -hmm. So to me, it was to plumb the depths of my soul and then do my counseling and writing and other things. That was for me. Other people, sometimes I look at other people and say, I wish I was that guy making the pizza, the burger. I wish I was a guy who didn't have to think about all these abstract things. And, and I, I wish I could just like not think about that stuff. But in the end, this is who I am. And like I'm at peace with it. So I'm doing my dharma. But even in those moments, when you say, I wish I was, <laughs> if I was standing next to you and said, do you really wish that? No. <laughs> no. No. It, I mean, it's a momentary uh, wave of, boy, wouldn't it be nice but no, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and that's one of the challenges, I guess, of being a person who is aware, uh, who is engaged in growth, who is engaged in seeing beyond surfaces, that one of our constant companion is doubt and, and wavering back and forth, that we do things because we feel the intuition uh, we do the Dharma because we feel the purpose. And there are plenty of moments where we go, geez, it would be nice if it was easy. And we don't really mean it. But it's what we're feeling at that moment. Um, you know, just because we're human and we get tired. We're going through a lot but of... we come back to the Dharma. We're, we're going through a lot of transformation now on the planet. So I know that a lot of people who are ministering or counseling are trying to up-level the consciousness on the planet they have to do two things. They have to become a bridge. They have to be in the society, born to the society, part of it to understand it, and then be introducing new ideas. And even where we are in the United States, people forget, you know, we take it for granted now, people died. I mean, we had slavery in the country, and, and we had all sorts of problems, and what we did to the indigenous peoples and different cultures, I mean, it's been a very tumultuous, even though we're a relatively young nation, but a lot of people suffered just for us, me and you, to be here today Mm -hmm. on public television, having this conversation, being who we are, many people had to pay a price. People mm -hmm. had to fight wars and to, and to fight for rights for different things. So, you know, we forget that. So their dharma, you know, was probably a little more grittier than what we have to face comparatively so. People died in wars or being burned at the stake and all those things. So, mm -hmm. so whenever I find myself getting, you know, too sad about something, now what I do nowadays is say, you know, snap out of it. You know, it's not that bad. It's neutral. It's no big deal. And don't feel sorry for yourself, but appreciate the opportunity to offer a different opinion. I mean, I'm very heartened by our new president, Obama, where he's talking about ecology and green energy and all those things, which are very dear to me because I want the planet to be healthy. That wasn't so much the case with the previous administration, but that is a big quantum leap in consciousness. Mm -hmm. And so I feel his dharma is to unite people, is to be a, 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 a path creator and bring in new ideas, but yet still, 
be that bridge from the old approach to the new approach, but with many new ideas. And I would not want to have his job because no matter your present, I don't care how much adulation, I wouldn't want to be that guy. Yeah. But, and, you know, when you mentioned the strategy of, okay, snap out of it, you know, and, and if that works for you, that's great. And it will work for some people and not others. Um, for myself, sometimes, I, I kind of, well, I guess being a sacred clown, being a backward sort of person in some ways, um, I, I use it as signposts that uh, <coughs> when I feel something like that, to instead of thinking of it as um, something bad happened or something undesirable, to look at it as a signpost. What is this pointing to? Um, what is it concerned with? What is it telling me about? Um, what concern in me is it raising? Well, in terms of Dharma, you know, sometimes people have a path that they want to go on and they have good intentions. They want to help the planet. They want to minister to people. They, w they want to do something good for the planet, you know, mm -hmm. activism, something. But, of course, there's the old adage, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That, but also what I find is that a lesson for those people and what I went through is, I have to take care of myself. I'm a human being. I may mm -hmm. think of myself as an infant being or a soul or a, a being of energy, whatever it is, but I'm in a physicalized body. I have to eat, I have to sleep, I have to get emotional nurturance, and I can't let my dharma deny me those things, because in a way I'm denying a part of my humanity, and if I can nurture myself and do my outer work, mm -hmm. then there's balance. So we come to balance. So in dharma, very important that you have balance, because if you don't, you won't last very long. You will not have a long career, because you will burn out, you will, you will lose your vitality, because you'll not be honoring yourself. So. Me, to me, the definition of Dharma is also doing your duty, but honoring yourself, loving yourself. How, how can you take care of yourself and do your work in the outer world? The duty that's assigned to you by yourself and by the universe, more than the duty that might be assigned to you by society around you. Well, it depend, depends on you define it. Like, if you say, I'm here to improve the planet. So you might think, that means sacrifice. What I've learned now is, I can still do things that, you know, to help the planet, but I do what excites me. Mm -hmm. So it's different. I don't feel like, well, I'm guilty. I should do this. I still do good things. But what excites me, because if I'm putting out my Dharma in a sense to show other people, I'm doing it excites me. You can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm trying to help the planet in suffering. You can do the same thing. That I don't think is going to help the planet. Although some people I can do it, and it's fine for them. Follow the inner guidance, I guess. But the, 